The cruise industry is reacting tonight to the CDC warning for people to simply avoid cruise travel regardless of vaccination status. It comes amid recent outbreaks aboard some ships. Fox 10's Lee Peck is on that story tonight, and Lee, it also comes just three months before Carnival Sensation is set to resume cruising out of Mobile. Well, it does, Bob. That first cruise out of the port city set for March 5th. Of course, uh, this latest warning not helping the industry that's still in rebound mode after the pandemic shut it down for 18 months. Avoid cruise travel regardless of vaccination status. It's the latest warning from the CDC as the agency observes dozens of ships that have had COVID outbreaks. I feel much safer on a cruise ship than I do picking up groceries at Walmart. Travel agent Andrea Miller with See It All Travel here in Mobile has personally been on four cruises since September. She says with extreme safety measures in place, People are once again ready to cruise. People are very eager to get back on the ships. Um, most everybody that we had that was canceled in 2020 and 2021 has already rebooked. Quite a few of them have already sailed. Clients Charlie and Jennifer Dino spending the new year aboard the Carnival Pride in Cosmel. Gorgeous views here. The couple says the COVID protocols on board are more than enough. Before we got on the cruise, we had to show proof of vaccination. We had to uh, also show them uh, a PCR test that was within 48 hours. Uh, so that made me feel safe. And then in addition, passengers are required to wear masks in public places, indoors and social distance. And there's not as many people cruising. It's still, it's still plenty of people and plenty of people having a good time, but it's, it's not wall to wall people. Yeah. Um, but we've felt great and haven't felt like we've missed out on anything. According to the Cruise Industries Trade Group, Cruise Line International Association, in the U.S. alone, the cruise industry administers nearly 10 million tests per week, 21 times the rate of testing in the United States. It is when you board a ship, everybody boards together, everybody sails together, everybody gets off that ship together. It, it's an inherent bubble. Versus an airport, you encounter people coming from all over the place, thousands of people that, you know, you have no idea what the history is. You have no idea what their vaccine status is. You have no idea whether they've tested recently. Cruise Lines International also adding in a statement the number of cases on board made up very slim minority of the total population and that most cases were asymptomatic or mild in nature.